Production Wizard and in this tutorial we're going to show you how to create various types of files. To do this click on Create a File. Create a File produce a DV AVI, a Windows AVI, MPEG-1 or MPEG-2 video file. There are two types of AVI profiles. DV AVI this AVI format has a high audio quality and may be stored in a DV camcorder or on a DV VCR. Or you have Windows AVI. This full screen size AVI file may be used for playback on TV or writing to VHS tapes. Click on Settings. This opens up the DV AVI production profile settings box. Now there are two types of AVI files. Type 1, a single stream is used to store audio and video. Type 2, there is one video stream and one or more audio streams. File size will be bigger. With audio quality you can select high quality or medium quality. When you have made your selections click OK. Click on the details box to confirm your selections and then press OK. Cyberlink Virtual Speaker can be applied to any of these six profiles. Click on Cyberlink Virtual Speaker, then click Apply Cyberlink Virtual Speaker to enhance background music. Then you can select Living Room theatre or stadium. When you have made your selection click OK. Click Next. Select a folder of where to save your production. If you want to view your video whilst it is being produced click Enable Preview during production or leave that unticked. Then click Start rendering. MPEG-1. This profile records a high quality VCD file in PAL format or in TSC depending on your region. Select this profile if you want to encode a high quality video and are willing to wait longer for encoding to finish. MPEG-1 has fixed parameters and if altered may result in the VCD not being recognized by a player. MPEG-2. Make sure that the country video format is correct for your area. With the profile name and quality you have four choices. A description of each is given in the description box. Tick here to enable Dolby Digital 5.1. Smart Video Rendering Technology recognizes which portions of a movie clip have been modified and only renders those portions, not the entire video clip during production. This saves time when rendering. To enable SVRT, place a tick in the box. You can create a new custom profile by clicking on New. The Profile Setup box appears. Give a name to your new profile and enter a description. Then click on Video. In Resolution select from the drop down list. Check Smoothing to produce a softer video image. Only use this option if it was not used during capture as it can result in slightly blurred video quality. Check Noise Removal to remove video artifacts. Only use if it was not used during capture as it can result in slightly blurred video quality. Drag the slider of speed quality indicator to select an acceptable setting between faster production speed with lower video quality and higher video quality with slower production speed. Then click Audio. You have a choice of MPEG Audio or Dolby Digital. You can change the audio compression rate by selecting a rate from the drop-down box. Then click 
OK. To edit a profile, click on Edit, make the necessary changes, then click OK. To delete a profile, click Delete. Then click Next. The DivX codec does not come pre-installed in PowerDirector 7. If this icon is greyed out, then you will need to install the DivX codec. The profile type is DivX and you can select a video quality from the profile name drop down list. We have the choice of AVI Long Play, AVI High Speed Profile, AVI High Quality Profile and each one gives you an explanation. Click on Settings. The AVI Profile Settings box opens. The compression codec is DivX and the composition you have a choice of video and audio, video only or audio only. If you want to make further codec setting changes click on codec settings and the DivX properties box opens. Make whatever changes you need then click OK. Click on Video and Audio Settings and here for the audio format you have a choice of MPEG Layer 3 with attributes where you have here the complete choice of sample rates in stereo or mono and alternatively you have PCM and again a complete choice of sample rates, bit rates, mono or stereo. When you have selected your format and the attributes, click OK. To review your production settings, click on Details. A dialog box opens in which you can verify the profile's details. Then click OK. Click on Next. With Portable MPEG-4, you have a choice of two profile types. PSP MPEG-4 AVC or iPod. A description of each is shown here in the description box. You can select between best quality PSP video H.264 or standard quality PSP video H.264. With PSP MPEG-4 AVC you can add a text by clicking on text display and then typing in your required text then click OK. Click Next. With AVC MPEG-4 the default profile is AVC HD 720 by 576 and a description is given here in the description box. You can create a new profile by clicking on New. If you have a Sony video camera with XV Color, tick Enable XV Color. Select this option to enable Dolby Digital 5.1 and select SRVT to save rendering time. Then click Next. <laughs>